Well, until now, I have delivered three lectures on freelance journalism. The first lecture, yes, you can also be a freelance journalist, provided an introduction to the world of freelance journalism. It has explained the market opportunities and given it uh, the kind of uh, basic things that are required to become a freelance journalist. The second lecture, I have explained to you the principles of effective writing or what makes your writing effective. In the third lecture, I have talked about the stages or phases in the writing process that include brainstorming, preparation, preparing an outline, drafting, revision. So now in this lecture, I will explain to you what should I write on? The looking for story ideas. Where do I, where do I get the ideas to write stories? Well, story in a journalistic parlance can become, can be a report, can be an article, can be a feature. Well, journalists use the common word story to represent articles, reports, features, etc. So, obviously, when you really want to become a journalist, the first question comes is, Sir, what should I write on? Can you give me a topic? Well, nobody can give you a topic because if I give you a topic, if I ask you to write on the hypersonic missiles, will you be in a position to write? You may not be familiar with that subject. Well, if I write, if I ask you to write on mental illness, well, it becomes very difficult for you because you are not an expert in mental illness. So, the idea should actually come from the journalist himself or herself. Normally, when you become a freelancer and uh, contribute to newspapers or feature syndicates or the news websites, you send a story idea, a brief story idea of 100 words, 150 words, 200 words and seek the confirmation for your story idea. Otherwise, what will happen is if you do all the work and write a full story and send it and if nobody publishes it it's a colossal waste of time and energy for you so normally you need to send a, a story idea or a story brief to the person concerned so coming to this so the the then the question comes is sir where do i get the ideas well i encountered the same dilemma when I was a student of journalism way back in 83-84, I was sitting in the classroom and wondering how will I become a journalist. I had a tremendous passion to publish my bylines. Byline in journalistic language refers to the name of the author for a news report or an article or a feature. So it's certainly remarkable to see your name in printed form. Even today, I get excited when I see my name printed. So that's the glamour associated with the byline. You suddenly become a known person. If anybody reads your name in a newspaper, well, they can connect with you. They can, uh, they can recognize you. That's the beauty where uh, uh, of having our balance. Not only that, when you really want to join some other newspaper or write for some other newspaper, you can always produce your previous balance stories. It provides the proof that you are actually experienced journalist. I have written so far more than 5,000 uh, uh, stories. I had 5,000 balance in several newspapers ranging from Frontline, Outlook, to the newspapers like Economic Times, Deccan Herald, Hindu, Indian Express, so Deccan Chronicle, Hindustan Times, etc, etc. Some of them are available even online now. If you just type my name, 
K. Nageshwaran in Hindustan Times, K. Nageshwaran in Economic Times or K. Nageshwaran in Outlook, you will get the stories which I have written. So, but this is today, way back in 83-84, just as a 20 year old young boy, I was very, very excited to see my name in print. Well, what should I do? I was really wondering, what should I write on? As a young boy, if I write on the Kashmir dispute, will anyone publish it? Suppose you are a student of, uh, you, you, you are a student of journalism and you want to write a story on Kashmir or you want to write a story on President Donald Trump elections, will anyone publish? They will question your ability to write. They will question the credibility of the source. So initially, especially in your early stage of career, you should look for ideas which are very simple, but at the same time makes an interesting, make an interesting reading. So the, I will tell you in this lecture, various ways you can discover story ideas. So one easiest way is important dates. Suppose the doctor's day, you may perhaps speak to few doctors and write a story. United Nations Day, you may perhaps write an article on the future of United Nations. Or you can, I, I, it, I'll tell my own experience. Sitting in the University of Mani University Hostel, I was seriously thinking what to write. And I was listening to the All India Radio regional news. Suddenly, something struck me. So the news reader read, the government of Andhra Pradesh will be observing the birth anniversary of Moksha Gundam Vishweshwaraya as Engineers Day. Well, important date. You can always write on these great people on two occasions, their birth anniversary and their death anniversary. So I immediately rushed to the Usmani University Library. That was not the time when we really had even internet at the time. So there was no internet, there was no reference material available readily. This generation is a fortunate generation by click of the mouse, you can get as much information as you can. So I have to go through the bookshelves to find a book on Moksha Ganda Vishweshwaraya. So I read a couple of books in the next two, three days and wrote an article and got it published in the Deccan Chronicle, Vishweshwaraya, A Life Full of Honors. This is one of the first articles published, one of the first stories published. Then I'll give you the second example. I still remember, I think on September 10th. Well, it was uh, on September 10th, 1959, I think, subject to correction, the television entered India. So I was uh, still a student of journalism in 1984. And I remember that September 10th is the anniversary, 25th anniversary of Durdarshan. So I immediately referred several books on Durdarshan, reports of various committees appointed by the government of India and uh, read a lot about uh, the evolution of Durdarshan, the satellite instructional television experiment, satellite telecommunication experiment, etc., etc. and uh, wrote a long piece Durdarshan, a 25-year-old toddler. It was published in Duck and Chronicle as a cover story for its Sunday magazine. It was a very exciting moment for me. I was really thrilled as a young 21-year-old bo young boy getting an article that to a cover story of the Sunday magazine was an accomplishment uh, at that point of time. So, such important dates will give you an opportunity to commemorate. So depending upon the particular 
occasion you can still always write well second is the topicality well one of the very basic news value is the timeliness journalism itself news itself mean something which is topical well you can uh, get whole lot of story ideas by reading newspapers by watching television by knowing what's happening around well i have i always used this source to write uh, even today i'll give you an example yesterday there was a news and in fact it is it, it appeared in today's newspapers donald trump president of united states has been nominated for the nobel prize well immediately i wrote a piece it is published in gulte.com so is it right to recommend donald trump for in, for such a coveted award my opinion is absolutely not it is a travesty of justice because president trump record is is obnoxious it is an absurd if we, if, if it is an it, it, it is nothing but an absurdity to nominate trump for the nobel prize because he was not a deal maker he was a deal breaker he walked out of the paris climate deal he has weakened the global trading regime he has disturbed the the in iranian uh, uh, relations with united states president obama uh, signed a, a nuclear uh, deal with iran trump simply uh, cancelled the deal so the relations between us and china us and russia are at uh, the uh, are at an abysmal level today well the board international bodies like world health organization are under attack from president trump so all these aspects i have explained how trump should not be give, why why trump should not be given the nobel prize so this is called topicality so topic topical are the timely development the timeliness is always in this value as i told you i'll give you one more example couple of days back we read in the newspapers keshavananda bharati died well keshavananda bharati is a kerala was uh, is a kerala swami ji whose petition in supreme court led to one of the momentous verdict in the history of supreme court called the keshavananda bharati verdict the supreme court propounded the doctrine of basic structure in this in its judgment on in the case keshavananda bharati versus state of kerala well keshavananda bharati may not be a constitutional expert he is an ordinary swami ji but as his petition resulted in one of the greatest judgments in the history of indian constitution keshavananda bharati name become a household name today those who especially wants to know about the constitution of india should read this verdict so i wrote a piece keshavan the bharati the unforgettable name in india's constitutional jurisprudence this was my story on the keshavan the bharati verdict so topical aspects provide you a lot of opportunities to write so this is the second way of looking for ideas third aspect is well you have to follow several institutions like government judiciary legislature well telangana assembly a new revenue act has been introduced in the telangana assembly so if you read that revenue act speak to some people who are experts in the revenue laws well you can write on the pros and cons of the telangana revenue act judiciary if you follow you can write on any supreme court judgment well very recently supreme court delivered a verdict on the question of sub classification of sc and st quota supreme court judgment was in favor of sub classification well in both the telugu states we have a demand for sc categorization well immediately i wrote a piece and sent it to the hindu on 
the sub court the quota within the quota so this is how you re- you react to something happens in the country especially the institution that matter well prashant bhushan case went on for several days it gave us an opportunity to write quite a number of times i myself wrote two times on the uh, the the tussle between prashant bhushan and the supreme court on the contempt of court so i wrote on what constitutes contempt of court the conflict between contempt of court and article 19 1a so under what circumstances contempt of court has to be used so what were the earlier what were the earlier judgments on contempt of court is it justifiable is it justified in punishing prashant bhush well all this provide an opportunity if you regularly follow institutions that matter or even individuals who matter someone may make make a comment you may write on that so this is the third source of ideas fourth one is listen to the people you should a good writer should be a good listener you can listen to the people around you you can listen to someone speaking you can listen to somebody discussing something well you may not be part of it or you may be part of it also but you may you will certainly get story ideas i will give you a, i will narrate a very interesting experience of mine well i was student of journalism i was not written much by then and we have a lab, uh, we have the laboratory journal usmania courier so i was given the beat well you know beat is a regular assignment a journalist follows so i was given a beat genetics department was my beat so i went to meet the head of the department of genetics he asked me to wait for a moment because he was discussing something with his with his uh, student so he was a research supervisor for one of the uh, 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 one of the genetic students so they were talking about the phd work dissertation of the student so the topic was about consanguineous marriages and genetic defects in the newborn babies well what we call as close kin marriages we have a tradition of marrying maternal uncle daughter so well it's uh, the there is lot of research to suggest that consanguineous marriages or close kin marriages result in serious genetic defects in the children well that discussion is absolutely nothing to do i have, I have nothing to do with that discussion it was a simply a discussion between a research supervisor and a student and a scholar but i heard that discussion and started making notes and after the student left i spoke to the professor and gathered more information on the con- on the subject and wrote a detailed article for the can chronicle on the genetic effects of consanguineous marriages well i have gone there for something else i have gone there to know about genetics department and the news in the genetics department for my laboratory newspaper but i came out with a story for duck and chronicle so if you listen to the people you will get lot of ideas so always listen to people always speak to people always interact with people so this will give you an opportunity to write many things fourth one this is the age of social media well you will get lot of alerts on social media lot of things are debated in social media today the social media is feeding the mainstream media many do not know that if something becomes a popular discussion in the social media the mainstream media obviously will follow it i was in republic tv in mumbai to participate in a live discussion on elections to karnataka assembly well i asked arnab goswami 
how do you decide the topics for your debates where do you get the ideas then he explained to me that his social media team will intensely follow all the social media platforms to know what is trending on social media to understand what is being debated in social media so it is always better to be active in social media to know what is being debated that will give you a feedback on readers interest one of my daughter told me the lot of debate going on the boys locker room syndrome few boys in a in a instagram group discuss very badly about their about their own classmates female classmates and that became a big issue well i immediately commented on that it was i was first among the first in in at least in telugu to comment on this bias locker room syndrome so how did i get this idea i got the idea from the social media alerts so reg- if you regularly follow the social media you'll get lot of things to write then the fifth one is sometimes you may miss an idea assuming that this this bias locker room syndrome you miss it you can you can always follow it up you may be you need not be the first one first person to write on that even after 100 stories are written on it you can always look for the 101 angle then the next one is well ask questions questions will give you lot of story ideas i'll give you small example well i was an editor of an english daily the hans india i went for a meeting of my reporters in sangareddy i was speaking to a local reporter whom we call stringers in journalistic parlance from narayan kid a very backward remote area in the state of telangana well i asked him that was actually hot summer i asked him any news he said no sir kuch bhi nahi hai sir nothing are kuch bhi kyon nahi rehta something will be there if you speak to people nahi sab sab routine hai sir nothing sir then I, then ask him what are the problems at least kuch na kuch masla rehta na some problem will be there then he said how sab pani ka dikkat hai then i asked him kaisa hai pani ka dikkat then he said bahut bahut dikkat hai sab parso mai tribal hamlet gaya sab then i asked him what is your experience he said there is so much acute scarcity of water the tribal girls get water from 3 km 4 km and it is very precious for them so they keep the children in a on a cot for bathing and collect the bathing water bathing bathing water by putting a bucket underneath the cot so that is how they don't even waste the water already collect the used water and again reuse it for washing clothes so we took the fort- uh, next day morning i sent my reporter they took the photographs talk to the people and publish a story on the front page believe me the chief minister of the telangana quoted this story in a public meeting and uh, immediately promised to address the problem that was the impact of the story so how did i get this story idea i got this story idea by simply asking questions if you go on asking questions you will get many many story ideas then another important thing is well if you have more and more contacts you will get story ideas so mine your contacts mine means mining you are like data mining you have to do contact mining as an editor i used to publish several stories which no other newspaper could even think of how because i was a legislator and i had contacts with a large number of people so they used to tell me the issues there i still remember how we published story 
on the bank employees wages there was a big demand negotiation were taking place between bank employees unions and uh, the indian bankers association and they were offered a meager 2% uh, a hike in salaries well it was a, 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 a serious issue i know that there are 10000 bank employees across telangana and andhra pradesh so i immediately got the information from the bank employees and management i wrote a story on the negotiations between the bank managements and employees which have reached a a point of dead end there is no breakthrough so next day believe me this newspaper my newspaper became a my my report became a point of discussion in every bank and we have expanded our circulation to hundreds of banks and bank employees so this helped me to expand my my circulation base too so like this people give you stories if you have contacts everywhere they will call you and give you stories because the moment if you have if people have if readers have confidence in you they will give you lot of material lot of story ideas so always expand your contacts if you have a wide range of contacts very diverse contacts you will get any number of story ideas diversity of contacts is critical here you should have lot of from industrial workers to multi, to uh, to doctors from ordinary school teachers to politicians if you have the contacts then you can really get effective story ideas then observation around even observation will get you very good stories well i was one day stand sitting in my bhubnagar bus stand waiting for bus to hyderabad and uh, i was observing a child was asking for drinking water the child was asking uh, asking his mother so mother was telling him wait our bus will we, we will go home soon because there was no drinking water facility the mother has to buy a water bottle then i asked the mother why are you deny him water he said sir i have to go to a nearby village the price of the water bottle double the fare of bus fare to my village i can't afford and i immediately purchased a water bottle and gave to the child and believe me next day i flashed a story on the front page of how a poor passenger bus commuter is exploited due to because of the lack of availability of drinking water in bus stands is it not a tragedy that the price of a water bottle should be double than the price of the bu- actual bus fare how can poor persons afford i have not only published a story i was still a member of the legislative council so i have uh, pro- uh, actually released funds under my constant development authority to uh, to establish drinking water facilities in every bus stand in my constituency so that is how we we observation will get you a lot of good stories i went to university of hyderabad to deliver a lecture one day we were having a cup of tea with a friend said i have seen number of students from northeast so by looking at them by listening to the language we can easily understand that they are from the northeast i was surprised because i never found so many northeastern students in any other institution in hyderabad then i asked these teachers and students there then they gave their experience more than 150 northeast students study in the university of hyderabad 
because they believe that Hyderabad is a better place, it's a cosmopolitan place compared to any other city, it's a peaceful city, there's no racial discrimination here and they explain their opinion, explain their experiences and next day it became a major story in fact for a, not only for a newspaper but a television channel on how Hyderabad is a preferred destination for northeastern students so how did I get this story idea simply observing around I was just sitting a, taking having a cup of tea and observe the surroundings notice a, a, a number of northeastern students so obviously I got this idea so observation will give you a lot of story ideas then not just observe people you have to observe trends also so there are all kinds of trends from fashions to religious practices from interior decoration to food habits I'll tell you number of trends even in small towns today middle class families go to a restaurant at the week in the weekend these are not the practice 20 years ago 10 years ago a trend I think it, if there's an ink of course due to pandemic now people may not be going to restaurant but it has become a practice several middle class houses households they don't cook food at the house in the house in the weekend they, they, they simply go out with children past time talk to friends have a nice dinner at a, some restaurant so it's a trend I've noticed even in smaller towns also so this restaurant culture and a party culture increase so that's a trend so there is an increasing trend of more and more sweet shops so there might be a more increased consumption of sweets we don't know so like this you can notice several things when you travel when you walk around when you commute on a road you will notice so many trends so these trends can be very interesting story ideas well, I'll give you a, one more story idea. Something happened somewhere. You'll always look for finding connections. Something happened somewhere, its impact may be felt here. So, something happening somewhere, its impact is felt there. Its impact is felt here. Suppose, some development, ICMR, has announced that there is no sufficient data to justify the use of uh, as, uh, 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 as use of plasma therapy as a therapeutic procedure well still we are doing it because when there is no other option we shall at least try there is no conclusive evidence to prove that plasma therapy can cure but at least we are trying well, ICMR gave the statement in Delhi. Well, it, in Hyderabad too, in your own city too, there are several hospitals which are, uh, uh, which are practicing plasma therapy. Well, you can speak to them. What is their own experience? Is the ICMR finding true? Or do they have any reservations? And ICMR finding. So, this is called finding a connection. ICMR made a statement somewhere and you talk about it here. So it's called connection. So you find a connection and get a story idea. Well, you can get story ideas from any source. Well, depending on your specialization. You may develop a specialized interest in some field or the travel or food. You can continue to focus on the story ideas on that particular subject itself. So like this, there is no dearth of story ideas. Only thing is, you should have that kind of an interest. You should have that kind of a passion to write. 
if you have a passion to write story ideas are always there you can even revisit some of the story ideas well i have written on consanguinous marriage 40 years ago sorry 35 years ago i can still write uh, looking at the research latest research latest findings on the subject so that's called the revisiting the story ideas well i have written in 84 i can uh, uh, on september 10th on doordarshan i can again write on doordarshan on september 10 2020 so many stories can be revisited providing for a fresh perspective on the subject or giving an update on the subject so the point here is there is no dearth of story ideas only thing is you have to constantly search for them you have to constantly think about ideas story idea